get, get in the zone. Exactly. Get in the zone. Donnie, delicious. <laughs> Welcome to episode three of Mobbed Up. I am your host, Chef Donnie Delicious, and today we are going to be doing an episode on how to render your own tallow at home. Donnie's in the house. You know what that means. Something's going down in the kitchen. <laughs> the most important part of rendering your own tallow at home is actually getting access to beef fat. If you go to a local butcher, they have tons of extra beef fat. A lot of butchers will straight up give you this and bones for free. Anytime I have a piece of steak that's too fatty, you know, I'm big on eating the fat, obviously it's super nutrient dense, but if there's just too much on that piece of steak, what you can do always is chop off part of it and keep it for later. So then you'll be collecting your own tallow as you go. And really it's just promoting zero waste in the kitchen, which is something we're always big fans of here at the Meat Mafia. Yeah, I gotta keep it trendy on my soul. I'm the most selfish person that I know. Here we go down the rabbit hole. Got a couple carrots around my neck. Self-respect when you out of line, you put yourself in check. First thing you need to do is just do a rough chop. Key here is making sure that it just came out of the freezer or fridge. Working with warm or even room temperature beef fat is going to be impossible to cut and it's gonna be an especially impossible task in your food processor, which makes this job so much easier. able to get it really finely powdered up by the food processor. If you don't have that, you can just do a, a chop. You know, I'm chopping it as finely as I can. If you don't have the processor, you're gonna wanna spend maybe five to 10 more minutes cutting it into even smaller pieces so that the melting and rendering process goes a bit quicker. As far as the rendering goes, one of two ways to do this as well. Dutch oven, which is what we're using today. You know, it's a beautiful, very versatile piece of kitchen equipment. Another thing that might even be better and take the cake is a crock pot. Because of the way it's really evenly distributed and you can actually get an even lower temperature on a crock pot than you can in most traditional stoves. We want it on the lowest possible to heat. The last thing you ever want to do here is burn the fat before it has time to melt. You just throw the show. Just a little update clip. Look at this, we're two hours and 20 minutes in. Just a bunch of liquid gold right now. It's looking beautiful. We're gonna give it some more time because there are some big chunks still. Squeeze as much life out of this as we can. Ready? Sorry, the show. It's time, it's time to pour, it's time to render. You have to do a Bruce Buffer, it's time. <laughs> and now, bubbling on the back burner. <laughs> All we have left to do is strain it into our containers, allow it to cool, refrigerate or freeze, and enjoy. Let's do it. Cheesecloth is money. Cheesecloth is a super underutilized piece of kitchen equipment. It's so cheap, it's reusable, extremely versatile. You can do a ton of things with it. It's going to make sure that only liquid gets through, no solid pieces. As we pour the beef fat into it, the rendered fat, it's gonna make sure that the impurities stay behind. We don't want any of that in our final product. And we're gonna be able to actually squeeze out every last drop into our jars to make sure we have as much tallow to use as possible. As your chef and your host, Donnie Delicious, I feel tremendous. With a couple jars, three jars of beautiful golden tallow, I feel on top of the world, um, feel accomplished, real sense of creator today. I really feel I've created something. How would I describe Chef Donnie Delicious's culinary style in a one word? Dictatorship. All right, Donnie Delicious definitely keeps his job for week four. He put on an absolute clinic cooking beef tallow. Now, I would know this as the camera guy, but some other people in the group may not know this because they were not, not there to see him put on this performance. Not all members were exactly present. You know, last, last week, episode two, we had an issue with not everyone pulling their weight. Uh, coffee guy specifically thought that a coffee run would have been the most helpful part of, of making a really high quality show. 
but that's not always the case. And this week he was nowhere to be found. So coffee guy turns to invisible guy, really unhelpful, you know, but you got to focus on yourself. And I can say with a, a full heart that I did a great job today. All right, invisible guy, what are you gonna say? This guy has been calling me invisible guy today. It's not bad enough that I try and do nice things for him episode two get him coffee, I'm literally getting him coffee, freaking feeding him. Guy literally squeezes one ragged tallow. He thinks he's hot shit. He thinks he's God's gift to cooking all of a sudden. I'm done. I don't have anything else to say. Oh, please don't go. You're such a vital asset. <laughs> Thank you.